I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn transformation of trigonometric functions. Let's begin with understanding horizontal compression. Question is, what is the effect of horizontal compression by a factor of 2 on the equation and graph of a trigonometric function? So we'll consider sine, cosine and tan functions and see how they get transformed when we have compression by a factor of uh, 2. So let me first sketch these functions. Let us say this is the sine wave. Okay, let's say this is the sine wave. And then let me sketch a cosine wave. So these are rough sketches which will help you to understand the concept, I hope. So, well, let me extend this x-axis so that we have it, okay that is the sine wave for us. So let me write down this as the function sine x. So we have 0 here, pi and 2 pi, which is the time period for sine, maximum 1, minus 1 is the minimum. So sine x has three zeros, right? 0 pi and 2 pi. As far as the cos x goes, it starts with the maximum of 1. So at pi, midway it is minus 1, this is pi, and then it ends with 2 pi at a maximum point, right? Minimum is minus 1 at pi. So these points, the zeros are at pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2, correct? Here at pi by 2 we have a maximum and minimum at 3 pi by 2 for cosine function. As far as tan is concerned, the time period for tan is pi not 2 pi and it has vertical asymptotes at minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2. 0 at the origin. So that is tan x for us. Now what we need to check is if we have horizontal compression by a factor of 2 how does it affect the equation and the graph, right? So what we are trying to understand here compression by a factor of, so we will say compression by factor of 2. What does it mean? Horizontal compression. Let me write horizontal as HOR. Okay. It really means that every point on the graph gets compressed horizontally by a factor of 2 means their x value gets multiplied by half. So this function, sine function has maximum at 1. When it is compressed horizontally by a factor of 2, then this maximum will not appear at pi by 2, but will appear at pi by 4. That is what it means. The 0 will not appear at pi, but pi times half, which is pi by 2. So the graph kind of compresses. I hope with this, you can appreciate it. Do you see that? Every point comes halfway. So this is half of 2 pi is pi. So those are the new points for my sine function and as you can see <coughs> uh, so 2 pi sorry 2 pi will come here and as 3 pi by 2 compression is is kind of here right so that is where it is so basically 0 times half is 0 so we have a function which will have now maximum at pi by 4, half of pi by 2, another 0 at pi by 2, and the last 0, it will terminate at not 2 pi, but at pi. So the function, sine function will be kind of like this. Do you see that? So that will be one sine wave, and the time period for this sine wave is going to be pi and not 2 pi. So the effect here will be that we will get the function as sine of 2x. Right, so time period becomes pi, not 2 pi. So the original function, we had one wave in 2 pi, now we have one wave in pi. In 2 pi there will be two waves, right? If I have to draw, I'll draw another wave here. So in 2 pi, there are going to be two waves. Same is going to be the case for the other two functions also. So as far as the equation goes, instead of cos x, we'll have cos of 2x, tan x will become tan of 2x. 
It really means that within this interval of 2 pi for cos, we will have not one full wave but we'll have two waves since each point will be halfway, right? So pi value will come at pi by 2, right? So the graph will be kind of like this. Do you see that? And then this 2 pi will come at pi. So it will end here. Perfect. So it will kind of, and this point will come here, correct? So it will going to go like this. So that becomes cos of 2x, horizontally compressed by a factor of 2. Similarly, in this case, we'll have vertical asymptotes now, not at pi by 2, but at pi by 4, and therefore, the graph of the function, let me draw in a different ink, will be kind of like this. Correct? So these points will be minus pi by 4 and plus pi by 4. So that is the effect of horizontal compression. So what you basically see is that the general function sine x will be sine kx where k is equals to 2. It means horizontally compressed by factor of 2, right? So that is how it is. You can also get the value of k by saying k equals to 2 pi by time period. Now time period is pi for your wave, correct? So it is 2 pi by pi over just 2. So therefore you see this 2 in all your equations. So that is another justification of your equation. I hope with this you clearly understand the effect of horizontal compression by a factor of 2. So the equation changes the k value becomes 2 for you. Time period of the wave becomes half right and in 2 pi we'll have two waves right i hope that makes things very clear thank you and all the best